everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. I echo that. Hello, everyone. We have got an exciting one for you today. We are going to a steakhouse that I have never heard of, but have walked by a thousand times. Not only that, it is a Las Vegas classic, been around since 1994. We cannot wait to introduce you to it. Yeah, and that's going to be at the end of the video. But before we do that, we're going to do a couple little updates on Caesar's Palace. We're checking in with Caesar. It's about time. And then we're going to check out the forum shops and see what's new and great in there. It's one of the best things about Las Vegas, the forum shops. All and right. It's time to take a look. Get ready, because this adventure starts right now. It's been two years since we spent any time in the Las Vegas version of the Roman Empire, so let's go see what's new at Caesar's Palace. Well, there's going to be a whole lot new once this construction is finished, a spectacular new entry with a soaring dome. For now, though, it's through this endless tunnel and into the building via the main lobby. Caesars has always been incredibly popular with Asian visitors and high rollers, and like the other strip resorts, they do it up in style for Chinese New Year. Around the corner from the lobby, the palace court area has a beautiful display for the Chinese New Year and we saw other touches throughout the casino floor as well. Famed Food Network chef Bobby Flay has had a presence at Caesars for a long time. Amalfi is his latest venue, inspired by his extensive travels to the Amalfi Coast in Italy. It opened last June, and the dinner menu promises to transport you to the Mediterranean. We love this, a new sports bar on the casino floor that also opened in June 2021. Stadia has football-shaped domes above. A floor made of recycled basketball court. And baseball-inspired lights. From the bar, you can order spirit brands owned by athletes and celebrities. Award-winning pastry chef Dominique Ansel is due to open a bakery here near Gordon Ramsay's place this summer. It'll be new construction and will feature the chef's world-famous cronut creation, a croissant donut hybrid. Over here between Mr. Chow and the buffet, Caesars has announced that New York City's original steakhouse, Peter Luger, is on its way. This will be the first U.S. location outside New York for this Michelin star restaurant due to open at the end of this year. If you've ever been to the forum shops at Caesars, you might agree that it is among the best free attractions on the Strip. When the shops originally opened in 1992, they were a wing off the hotel. But in 2004, this magnificent frontage on the boulevard was added, complete with a replica of the Trevi Fountain. And in 2017, the Simon folks that own the mall added this staggering multimedia marquee just in case you hadn't noticed the place already. Step inside the forum shops at street level, and of course, you are immediately drawn to the spiral escalators. They are the creation of Mitsubishi Electric, the only company in the world who builds them. 
The supporting structure is cleverly hidden so that as you ride them, you can see all the beauty and all the stores around you. The Forum Shops take the honors for being the top performing retail center in Las Vegas and is among the top in the world as well. Now here's some facts and figures. There are more than 670,000 square feet of retail and restaurant space on three floors. There are more than 160 shops and businesses, including at least 40 whose only Las Vegas location is right here. It is often compared to the Via Cantotti, the center of fashion shopping in Rome. And with these top shelf designer names, it's no wonder. Now here's a fun fact. More than 28 million people visit the forum shops every year and to accommodate them, the retailers speak at least 25 different languages. Now, even if the shops are too rich for you, there's a lot to see in here. The Atlantis show is finally back after a long hiatus. This seven-minute long animatronic display of fire, water, and talking statues runs at the top of the hour throughout the day. And around the corner from that is the Atlantis Aquarium, a 50,000-gallon saltwater tank populated with 300 unique species of tropical fish. Here, at the intersection of the three main pathways in the Forum Shops, is the spectacular Fountain of the Gods sharing space with the Trevi Restaurant. Like the Trevi Fountain outside, this fountain is also modeled after the original in Rome. <laughs> Talk about lunch with a view. By the way, Trevi is the sister restaurant to where we'll be having dinner a little bit later on. It's evening now, and we are in Caesar's main casino heading to the original Forum Shop's entrance. This dragon is always a staple here during Chinese New Year, and like everybody else walking by, we just had to capture it on film. The dragon just happens to be located directly in front of our dinner destination for this evening, the Palm Restaurant. The Palm opened in the Forum Shops in 1994, but its history actually goes all the way back to 2nd Avenue, New York City, 1926. <laughs> we'll have more on that in just a minute. Their version of outdoor seating is one of the best places in town to people watch. Step into the restaurant and you are captivated by the caricatures on the walls, and I mean all over the walls. Back in its early days, the original palm was frequented by artists and writers who would sometimes offer to draw something in exchange for their dinner. Those ended up on the walls and a tradition was born. At the Las Vegas location, members of the restaurant's loyalty club can earn a spot on the wall, and of course, the famous performers at Caesars get a spot as well. The drawings are even down the hall to the restrooms. Now, we were told that Donny Osmond's booth is in high demand whenever he's in town, especially with his passionate UK fans. 
They actually line up early and fight to eat there. In the main dining room is this spectacular mural of the Las Vegas Strip, and we just cannot say enough about it. You have to see it in person. It's an incredible work, and we just love how the palm is painted in. The philosophy of the Palm's original founders, Pio and John, was to treat guests like family, serve great food, and always exceed expectations. Well, let me tell you, they have. This place has received the Wine Spectator Award for Excellence 21 years in a row. Yes, let me repeat that, every year from 2001 to 2021. Not only are there intimate booths, white cloth covered tables, a generous bar, but also private rooms in the back for parties <laughs> or for Jerry Seinfeld and his pals. Friends, as promised, we are back at the Forum Shops for dinner. We're at the incredible Palm Restaurant. We have lived here for a billion years and never had dinner at the Palm. Better late than never. Cheers, everybody. Like Paula said, we're at the Palms here at Caesar's Palace. I just had, we split a salad. This is my salad. This place is amazing. The history in here is amazing. I'm telling you, I've lived here since 1978. I never knew this place existed. I'm not sure exactly when it uh, was built for Caesars, but it's just amazing. The people that work here are amazing. And I'll tell you what, they told us before we leave that we have to talk to them because they have all kinds of stories to tell us. So we're gonna tell you guys, so cheers. So this veal dish is highly recommended when you look up the palm on the web. So I had to order it. Much as I love steak, I wanted to give a try to something that's a signature dish. Wonderful flavor. Super tender veal. Really tender. Big thumbs up. Oh, yum. Check this out. This is beautiful or what? Bro, oh, like butter, just like butter. So this is my dessert. We decided we're too full for an actual dessert. So I'm having a Glenlivet on the rocks. I don't want to leave. I love this place. And I, of course, get the Bud Light. Nothing but the best for old Dale, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, before you start sending in letters and stuff, we know that that place was expensive. We knew that going in. The, we, me the menu is on the web. <laughs> yeah, we, we checked it out before we went. I even told Paul, I said, boy, this is really going to cost a lot of money. <laughs> it did. <laughs> but take, a, take away $25 off of that bill because that's what we paid for for the loyalty card. And we'll talk about that again in a minute. Yeah, but you don't have to buy a loyalty card. No. But yeah. So anyway, what did you think about that place? Honestly, you guys... If you're out in the forum shops, you have no clue what is in there. It was such a shock to walk in and see the murals and the, the caricatures. We were dazzled. Yeah, from the outside, no idea. It just looks like a really fancy steakhouse. On the inside, it is so homey. I can't even it's so tell you. Kitschy. It it's, is so it's, kitschy. It is so kitschy. And the people that work there, they carry that theme through. They, well. they are some of the nicest people that I've seen in a restaurant down on the strip in years. So big shout out to manager was Patty. Our server was Amber. 
And Sunshine was another server who came over and told us all kinds of fun stories. Sunshine was full of sunshine, let me she tell you. She told us the Donnie story, but also about Jerry Seinfeld, John Travolta, Nicholas Cage, <laughs> all kinds of fun scoops. She gave us all kinds of little scoopy things that were going on in there. And I'll tell you what, she wouldn't let us leave that place until she took our picture in front of that mural. Which we're so happy to have as a keepsake. Yeah. And by the way, they didn't mind at all. They encouraged us to do all that filming in the restaurant. They were actually kind of tickled that we were so tickled in yeah. there. It was a great experience. And honestly, the food was just terrific. Top notch. Top notch. Top notch. Very expensive. Very expensive. But top notch. And uh, we will definitely, definitely be going back. You want to know why? Because we're going to get, we got a loyalty card. Tell them about that. Yeah. So uh, quick history. P.O. and John opened the Palm in New York, as you know, in 1926. The family, four generations, held it until 2020. And in fact, they expanded to more than 20 locations across North America. They sold to Landry's in right. 2020. So that's the loyalty club that we ended up joining for the 25 bucks. But the next time you go back to one of their restaurants, including the Trevi, yeah. well, well, you get the $25 there, credit. And there's also uh, hotels. Oh, and, tons, yeah. of, tons of landers. And, yeah. and you don't have to buy a loyalty card. We, we just bought to. it. And I'll tell you, want to know why? Because if you got a loyalty card and keep getting points, they'll put your picture on the wall. <laughs> I want a Dale McKenzie caricature on the wall. <laughs> I want us both on the wall. I think that would be fantastic. So anyway, highly recommend The Palm. And of course, uh, we're excited to see what Caesars does with the place when they do the big reveal. Yeah. Forum Shops is one of our favorite places to spend the afternoon. Yeah. It was a fun uh, Yeah, and, and that, uh, that Atlantis show. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's actually, it was gone during the pandemic, so we're just really glad to have it back. All right, there is one more story we want to tell you about Palms. Yeah, you seem to like behind the scenes stuff. So we learned that they were actually the originator of surf and turf. What happened was Pio and John were serving mostly Southern Italian uh, dishes in their restaurant, but they eventually started serving the prime steaks. And they had a customer come in that said, I would like to order lobster. And they said, oh, we don't have lobster. <laughs> but there was a market right across the street. They said, we're not gonna disappoint our customer. They ran across the street, bought a lobster then and there, <laughs> brought it back and cooked it. And then the other diners are going, wait a minute, where's my lobster? And they started pairing it with a steak, and that's where Surf and Turf came from. That's where the term Surf and Turf came from. They invented it. Yeah, so the Palm gets the credit for that. <laughs> yeah, that's a great story. And uh, the, other, the other thing about the place is when you, when, you, when you do walk in, you honestly, I think you feel like you're at home. It was so cozy. Don't be thrown by either the prices or the white tablecloths. Yeah. We wore jeans. It's well, not they, they do have a little. They have a little dress. Yeah, code. they have a little yeah. dress code. But yeah. it's, it's not fussy. It's not hoity-toity at all, and uh, we we did love it. All right, I think that's about it, right? That is it. All the news you can use. Go to the forum shop sometime. Go to the Palm. All right. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Paula, is there anything else you oh, want to tell gosh, these no. folks? We're that's done. it. All right. <laughs> Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye, bye everybody. everybody.